everyone, and welcome back to The Cozy Chair. I'm so glad that you are here. And it's February. I love February. In fact, I kind of more than love it. I adore it. It is so much fun. Now, if you go back to my main page, I have a playlist that is all Valentine's books. So make sure that you go to that playlist and listen to some fun Valentine's books. Next week, I'm going to be putting on a few more new Valentine's books. So be watching for some new ones. But this week, I pulled out of our library jar. These are all things that you want to learn this year. So if you can think of something, you can comment down below or you can email me at thecozychairclub at gmail.com. Okay, well, what I pulled out last week and I told you that we were going to learn about was learning to read. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't think you can read in 20 minutes. But we are going to have some fun learning about different ways that you can learn to read. So I've been thinking so much about this that I decided to make two videos. One for you kids that are learning to read and then a second one for you parents. So those of you that are learning to read, tell your moms and tell your dads and your aunts to come watch the second video where I will teach you some reading strategies and fun things that um, I have done with my kids or that I've studied about and uh, just some ideas and techniques that I know that work. Okay, so today I have this great book. Are you ready? It is called A, B, C, C, Here, Do. Learn to read 55 words. What? Do you think if we read this book, we will really be able to read 55 words? I don't know. I think we should give it a try. This book is by Stephanie Howell, and I think it's really great because it says... See here, do. When we do things with our fingers and our hands, it really solidifies what we're learning up here in our brain. So let's see what we can learn from this book. In this book, we're not going to say the letter names. We're going to say the sounds. So this cat says k, k, k. Like it. Do you hear that? Make your hands like claws and scratch. K, k, k. And this ant says, ah, ah, throw your hands in the air and act like you're scared. Ah, okay, let's see what other letter sounds we have in this. <gasps> this turtle, you tap the air and you say, t, t, t. And this one's my favorite one. This is a monkey. And I'm going to turn the computer down so you can see. And it says, Mmm, mmm, mmm. I have my mat over here that we are going to play games with in just a minute. So rub your belly and you say, mmm. Good. Good for you. You're already learning how to make these sounds. Hey, guess what? It's time to read. Say the sound and make the motion for each letter. Are you ready? Okay, here's this. What does it say again? Can you do that with your hands? K -a -t. Put those sounds together and you get cat. You are right. You read your very first word. Good for you. Now let's try this one. This one, you rub your tummy. Mm -a -t. Now we say them a little faster. Mm -a -t. Mat. Good job. Great job. Now here we go. We're going to learn some more letter sounds. So the way this book works is you learn a couple letter sounds at a time. And then you add them together, these, le these sounds together, to make words. So this time we're going to use our hand like a snake. And what does a snake say? It says s. Make your hands slither like a snake and say s. Oh, here's the raccoon. Make your hands rev a motorcycle. Have you ever done that? And it goes, rrr, rrr. Okay. <gasps> this iguana. Whenever I see an iguana, I go, eh. <gasps> That's just the right sound you should make. Wave your hands back and forth. Eh, eh. So what does this one do? Remember? Rrr and eh. Okay, let's see. And this one. Look how fun this one is. Porcupine, open and close your hands like they are popping. P, p, p. Now it's time to read some more words. Are you ready? I'm going to get this really close so you can see 
the pictures down below. This one says, sat. So put it together, and it says, sat, sat. Okay, let's do this one together. Remember, rev like a motorcycle. R at. R at. Rat. Good job. This says rat. Okay, let's try this one. Remember the porcupine? P at. Pat. And s. Ip. You are reading already. That is amazing. When you use your hands to make sounds, then it will help your mind remember what letters each sound makes, okay? Let's keep going. Do you think you could read even more words? Let's see, I'm gonna put it up here and I'm gonna be quiet for a minute and you try to read those words, okay? And if I don't give you long enough, you can always push pause. So let's pick one together. Let's do, let's do this one together. Rub your tummy. Mm -up. It says, mm -up. map, a map. Way to go. Isn't this such a great book? Now this one, the bear. Move your arms like you are playing a bass drum. B, B, B. You can do this, you can stand up and march as you say, B, B, bear. And flamingo is, you can't really see my arm, but you flap your arms like a flamingo. F, 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 flamingo. Okay, now this one, shape your hands into an O. Uh, can you say that? Uh, it's kind of like singing. Okay, let's see. What letter sound do you think is coming up next? G, 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 gorilla. Pretend to hold a cup and gulp a drink. Ready? G, g, g. Do you like to gulp water or milk or juice? Get your hand and say g, g, g. Good for you. Did you hear the g in good? You're right. It starts with that same sound. Okay. I bet you can read a few more words now. Wait a minute, this is a lot of words. Are you sure you can read that many? You think you can? You are an all-star reader already. Well, okay, I'm gonna put this up close and I'll say the first, hmm, I'll say the first four with you and then you figure out this one at the bottom. Okay, ready? Here we go. B, A, T, Bat. Let's try this one. Ah. At, fat. Let's try this one. Flap like a flamingo. Ah, g, fog. Okay, last one. Oh, what does the bear do? Remember, he goes b, ah, g, bog. Okay, now can you figure out this last word? Okay, I'll think about it and you do it. Do you know what it is? It says, mop. Raise your hand if you did that right. Wow, good for you. I am so impressed. Here is another page that you can practice. I'm going to move on pretty quickly, but if you want to stay here, you can push pause and practice these words. Let's see. We'll pick one word to read together, and it's this one. Okay, let's do it. The porcupine. P. like I cook soup in a pot. Awesome, you've already read 20 words. Can you believe it? Wow, that's so amazing. This one is super silly because you have to lick like l, l, lion. L, l, lion. Pretend you are licking a lollipop. The lion is licking a lollipop. Isn't that silly? That's called an alliteration. And that means you put a lot of sounds together. <gasps> j, j, jaguar. Move your hands up and down like they are jumping. J, j, jaguar. And uh, my voice went up because we're going to pretend to open an umbrella. Uh, 
Can you do that with your hands? Put your hands together and push it upwards like this. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what that's what that sound is. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, this one is silly. Do you like hippopotamuses? Yes, the hippo says ha huh, ha huh, hippopotamus. Pretend you are hot and you wipe the sweat from your forehead. Ha ha ha. Can you do that? Huh, huh, huh. Now you're really reading. Check these out. Are you ready? Let's do this one, this one, and this one together. Okay, let's start at the top. Huh, huh. At. Huh, at. What is that? Hat. Good job. Okay, let's skip that one and let's go to this one. L. I. Lip. Yeah. And this one at the end. L, a, g, log. Isn't it fun how we're using our hands? Do you like to use your hands when you're learning to read? Well, here is another page. You can practice that. That is 10 more words. Go you! This is so exciting. Let's pick the middle one and do it together. What does the gorilla do? He gulps. Are you ready? G, a, did you do the uh sound when you opened your umbrella? Uh, t, gut. Isn't that funny? That's kind of a funny word. Okay, let's keep going. See what other sounds we can make. What other sounds we can learn. And then as we learn more sounds, we learn more words. Isn't that fun? All from these little animals. D, 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 dog. Pound your fist on top of the other. I have to put my, fist, my book down so you can see this. D, d, d. That's what the d, that's what we think of when we see this little dog. D, d, d. Okay, let's move forward and see what else. Oh, w, w, walrus. Wiggle your fingers. It's kind of fun if you do this because that looks like this same letter. And if you shake it, you'll go w, 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 walrus. Okay, and this is a elephant. And when you put your hands around your mouth like you're yelling, ah, like when you yell for your mom or your dad, is that what you do? You put your hands, ah. Okay, look at this one. N, n, norwal. Ah, that's a silly animal. Have you ever seen a picture of a real norwal? They're really interesting. Wave one finger back and forth. N, 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 kind of like the thing on their head. N, n, n. Now, just by adding those few letters, we have more words. Should we try them? Let's try this one. Remember, this one's where you pound your fist. D, a, n, d, a, n, den. Isn't that great? Okay, let's come down to this one. This one is very similar. These are all similar because they all end with n, 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 n. But when you change the beginning letter, it changes the word. So this one's d n, h n, p n, and t n. Den, hen, pen, ten. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? And this last one, let's see if you can figure this one out. D, a, g, dog. Did you read that one? I'm going to turn the page and I'm going to see how many of these you can read all by yourself. Don't forget that this one is like this. W, 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 e, g, <gasps> wig. Have you ever worn a wig before? I wear wigs on Halloween. I love wigs. That is another 10 words. That's incredible. You are already reading so many words. I'm so proud of you. Okay, this is k, k, kangaroo. Pretend you are turning the key. So get your hand and you go k, k, k. A kangaroo with a key. Oh, this one is so silly. Stretch your arms as if you're yawning. Yeah, yeah, yak. Can you do that with me? Stretch your arms out really big. Yeah, yeah, yak. Very good job. And this one is v, v, vulture. Make a V with your fingers. Remember just a minute ago we had w, w, walrus? Well, now we have v, v, vulture. 
That's v, v, very good. Did you hear the V in that word? Okay, X, X, X-ray. Cross your arms in an X. So you can do a big X, or you can do a little X. Big X, little X, and you say X, X, X. Can you make that sound? It's kind of like a K and an X together. X, X, X. That makes an X sound. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start at the top here, and we're going to do every other word, which means we're going to skip a couple. Let's do this one. Oh, the kangaroo turns a key, remember? Okay, let's start that one. K, I, N, K, I, N, Kin. Very good. Let's try this one. What does a vulture do? Do you remember? V, A, N, V, A, N. Van, this one, van, good job. Okay, last one. Oh, here's your favorite one. Stretch your arms and, str and say, yeah. Good, do it again. Yeah, eh, mm, yen. That's kind of a silly word. Sometimes when you're learning to read, you use nonsense words. Now this one is not a nonsense word. Let's try that one. It is a I can't do that when I'm holding the book, but you can cross your fingers. X, six, six. Some of you that are watching are six. Okay, let's try this one at the end. Okay, you know how to flap like a flamingo? Go f, a, x, fox. Now that is impressive reading. Good for you, I'm so proud of you. This one is qu, qu, quail. Tuck your hands in your armpits and flap your elbows. Qu, qu, quail. Can you make that sound? Qu, qu. Let's see what words we can read now. Z. I love the sound of the z. Put your hands next to your cheek like you're sleeping. Z. Congratulations. Now we can put all of them together. Should we see? Let's try this one. What does the monkey do? Do you remember? He rubs his tummy and the umbrella goes up and the D says D, D. Are you ready? Okay. M, A, D. <gasps> mud. Do you like to play in the mud? Okay, let's try this one. The gorilla gulps. Are you ready? G, A, M, gum. Wait a minute. I love chewing gum. Do you like to chew gum? Do you like to blow big bubbles with your gum? Me too. Okay, let's try this last one right here. The zebra says, z, a, p, zap. Congratulations. You just read 55 words. That was amazing. Take your hand and go right around your back and give yourself a pat on the back. That was super, super amazing. Now, ready for a challenge? Try reading all of these words. Remember? Sometimes they give us silly words, but these are really awesome. So you can push pause and you can practice here, or you can push pause and practice here. These ones are with lowercase letters and these are with uppercase letters. This is such a great book. Isn't that fun? And at the end of this book, it shows you all of the pictures and the sounds and the letters. And then you can remember the sounds that the letters make. See, did you know we were working with A, B, C, D, all the letters of the alphabet to Z? Isn't that great? Well, I hope that you enjoyed that. And if you have a mom or dad and you're learning to read, then you tell them to come back to my second video that I'm going to post right after this one, and it's going to be all about teaching children how to read. Now, we have our learning jar that I usually pick out what we're going to learn next week, but... Something special is happening next week. It's going to be Valentine's Day. So I'm not going to pick anything out of our learning jar this week. I'm going to read you some Valentine's books. It's going to be oh so fun. So make sure you come back next week and you listen to our Valentine's books. Thanks so much for coming and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.